hoping I'd catch up with you. How you doing? Well, apart from discovering me husband's in love with another woman and has swindled me out of my inheritance, I'm fine. Listen, you can tell me to mind my own business if you want, but what if I told you there was a way that you could hurt Nick back and make a shed load of money while you're at it? I'm listening. Nick bought his share with your money, right? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, strictly speaking, that share belongs to you. So... So when the court forces him to sign it back to you, why not keep it? You and me could be partners. Look, no offence, but why would I want to go out on a knicker factory with someone I've barely met? Because you're a smart woman who knows a sound investment when you see it. And it could agitate the hell out of Nick. I mean, imagine us nabbing his precious business from under his nose. Hmm. And also, you know what, Elsa? If you change your mind later, you can always sell your shares back to me. I'll think about it. Hiya, Ken. Hiya, Eccles. This night I thought you'd like to know. She neighbours back in work this morning. Oh, how was she? Did she seem all right? Yeah, she seemed OK. Listen, I've asked her to keep tabs on everything she spends, all right? Are you sure you're all right with footing the bill? I mean, some of these treatments can cost a fortune. If there's any chance he can make a difference, it's the least I can do, but not a word. She knows I'm behind it. I've told her the company's insurance will cover it, don't worry. And she believes you? Are you saying I'm a bad liar? I wouldn't dream of it. Thank you. Well, you might not thank me when you get the bill. See you later. Okay, goodbye.